Hello, class. We're going to do something very subtle to the drawing, but really I think it has a lot of impact. You drop in a building, but it still almost looks like it's floating on top of the grass. And I'm just going to make a new layer, and I'm going to put it up top of everything because this is going to cover the building, and I'm just going to call this grass. Select your clone stamp tool, come up here uh, to the paintbrush, and click this little icon right here. You want to load legacy brush. If you scroll down, you'll eventually get to your legacy brushes, which might be collapsed. So, so in that case, just uncollapse your legacy brushes and uncollapse uh, default brushes. If, but if you scroll down and it's, and it's fairly far down, you want to select the one that just says grab. Um, now the other thing we need to do is make sure our size is set correctly. So I'm going to press ALT somewhere down here in the grass and this come, again come up in my sky and paint and, okay, and I can see that it makes it look like grass but it looks big. I'm going to control Z to undo that, come back to the brushes and just move this down a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to press ALT down here approximately and I'm going to come up here and just paint this edge and you can see it now looks like the grass is growing up around the edge of the house. I'm just moving back and forth as needed. You don't have to be perfect about it, but we can see now it really, really looks set. As we get deeper in the perspective, what often have to happens is um, the grass is going to get smaller, right? Change my brush shot size and make it just a little bit smaller and, and start painting along this edge. And, and then I'll just come all the way through to the edge of my building. And again, don't be afraid of pressing ALT. If you're no longer painting grass, it's because your target is either off the drawing or it's on top of something else. But when I pull out, you know, again, you can barely see that layer, but what, what now happens is the building is set into the landscape and it looks like it's always been there. It's a great little trick that works on any drawings. All right, I'll see you in the next video.